Good evening, everybody. Coming to you from uh, Sheboygan, Wisconsin. On behalf of Mead Public Library, I'm Little Rev, and it's good to be with you guys tonight once again for another ukulele lesson. And uh, I'm very excited about tonight's lesson. Uh, we've got uh, a real slice of vaudeville Americana coming at you guys tonight. And uh, uh, as always, uh, very much uh, appreciate that you will uh, let us know where you're coming from. We appreciate that. And uh, um, say hello from wherever you're at. And of course, I uh, want to make sure that everybody can hear me well. So uh, if there's any problem with that, uh, do let us know. We can always come up or come down a little bit. And um, so I'm very excited to present this program with you guys tonight. A uh, big uh, mahalo to Meet Library for um, just reaching out into the community with ukulele classes in good times and online classes during uh, the corona crisis. Uh, bring a little joy, spread a little love via the ukulele. And so tonight we'll be talking about the pendulum stroke. And uh, we've got a full hour here. We'll see how, how much time this takes to get through teaching this. I've never taught this virtually, but uh, there's no reason to believe that we shouldn't be as successful virtually as we were uh, in person. Now these uh, types of strokes, uh, the pendulum stroke, okay, so this is what you're gonna see. I'm slowing it down. Okay, so you're gonna hear what will be simulated as tick, tock, tick, tock. So the first thing that I would like everyone to do, and by the way, um, the music was posted just, uh, should be just below um, this thread here, if you still need it. There's two pages to Grandfather's Clock. And as always, as I say, I'm going to say this every time. If you go to my website, littlerev.com, scroll down, click on Sheboygan U Club, there you'll find on our Google Drive um, a little button that'll say Pendulum Stroke on it. And you can print out these two pages. And you still have time to do it right now if you don't have the music in front of you. Otherwise, uh, you should be able to find the link there right on the thread. And uh, um, you can print those out real quick and join us. Okay, there's lots of preliminary um, advice that I'm going to give you here before we do this. The first thing is, do you see a strap affixed to my ukulele? No, you don't see a strap affixed to my ukulele. And, um, and that is because in order to do the sort of vaudeville, Roy Smack kind of uh, showmanship that is required in this class and many others, uh, including the ukulele flip and the ukulele shake, which are coming up uh, in about two weeks. Uh, we'll do a whole night of songs that will teach you to throw the ukulele a little bit and have some fun. This is this is what my people call shtick. Can you say that? Shtick. That's right. Uh, and so we're going to ham it up a little bit. And the pendulum stroke is, is imitating what the grandfather's clock would do. Tick, tock, tick. Now, when you combine that with strumming a song, it becomes very, very uh, beautiful thing to see. Okay? So I'm going to teach you how to do this and how to integrate it. Now, before we do the song here, I want you to know that this song goes back to 1876. Uh, this was written by Henry Work Clay, or Henry Clay Work, I should say. Um, and uh, grandfather's clock is another term for a long case clock. Uh, it was first recorded by Harry McDonough uh, back at the turn of the century and uh, on cylinder. And then uh, a little bit later, you've got everyone from John Fahey to Sam Cooke recording this song from Bing Crosby to Guy Van Duzer, from uh, Doc Watson to Lil Rev. That's right. This is a, a beloved American classic. And uh, uh, even in, uh, in the early 60s, Fisher Price uh, had a toy that had a little dial on it and you could turn it and uh, um, that toy would play grandfather's clock. So this is woven into the fabric of our nation as one of these time-honored classics. And so I consider this to be a showstopper. 
if you if you use this as a closer in your concerts, um, you'll bring down the house. People love it. Okay, and uh, and it's not overplayed anymore these days. Even though it's been around forever, people aren't accustomed to hearing it. Okay. Now, when I perform this piece, I like to do the melody to start. So I'll often do a little claw hammer, and I might do something like I might go. One thing, if you, if any of you um, sat in on my roll strokes class, okay, I'm not going to teach that tonight, okay. But if you took my roll strokes class, um, this is a good opportunity tonight to to integrate this. And I'm always looking to share with my students um, the opportunities to continue to use what I've taught in previous classes so that things methodically kind of build on each other and you have lots of opportunity to integrate the kinds of things that I'm showing you. And so if you do know the roll stroke and you're out there tonight, when we get to the part that says stopped, short, never to go again when the old man died, that's what you're going to do. You're going to go stopped, short, never to go again Now, if you don't know how to do the roll stroke, you're just going to go stopped, short, never to go again when the old man died. Okay? So just keep that in mind. All right. Now, um, I'm going to begin to show you how to do the pendulum. And then we'll practice the song a little bit just all by itself without the pendulum. And then finally, we'll integrate the pendulum into the song. Okay, so how do you do the pendulum? All right, this is a lot of fun. Now, back in the days of the Grand Old Opry, and certainly during the vaudeville years, you had a lot of geometric strumming patterns, zigzag. You have circular fan strokes. Um, you've got flipping the ukulele. If you watch Roy Smet blowing into it, tapping the ukulele in various ways, get, doing anything theatrical with the instrument, okay? So one, take off the strap. You can't do this with a strap on your ukulele. Um, you know, if it's really tied on there tight and you can't get it off tonight, then just push the strap up against the neck so that you're holding it kind of affixed to there. So it's not going to swing around. But if you can take off the strap, try to do that. You're going to have the most success with this. Okay? So the pendulum. So you're strumming the song, all right? And then it's going to come to this part where it's going to say um, 90 years without slumbering. So you're going to go 90 years without slumbering. Tick tock. That's where we're going to want to do this pendulum. Okay. So we'll go 90 years without slumbering. Now, how do you do this? You're going to hold the ukulele in. Okay. And as you do the tick tock. There's those dogs. Oh, they're always always got to get in one or two bars. But welcome to the reality show that is Little Rob's Kitchen. All right. So as the ukulele goes out away from you, okay. So you go is going to go out. So as you bring the ukulele out, the tips of your fingers are going to brush against the strings. Tick. Okay. Try that again. So you grab the ukulele by the base of the neck right here, and as you move it away from you, you are going to brush the pads of your fingers across the strings. Okay, that's tick. So watch. Tick. Okay. Now it has to come back, right? So as that ukulele comes back, you're now going to use the tips of your nails, and you're going to strike those strings. Tock. Okay. So you're going to get tick, tock, tick. Tuck. You'll do that two times, all right? So again, first the pads hit the strings as the uke goes out, and then as it comes back, you'll use the nails to strike them. Tuck. And 
your hands will be muting the strings. So it's going to create a muted sort of sound. Okay, so you're going to get tick. It makes that kind of a sound. And when it comes back, it makes this sound. Okay, and that's the sound of your nails and your skin hitting the strings. So again, repetition is really everything with this, my friends. Okay, so watch. 90 years without slumbering, and then it goes out, tick. And when it comes back, tock. Life seconds numbering, tick, tock, tick, tock. So you're going to have two chances to do that two times. Okay, watch again. All right. 90 years without slumbering, tick, tock, tick, tock. His life seconds numbering, tick, tock, tick, tock. And then you go to it, stopped, short, never to go again, when the old man died. Okay, so what that means is some strumming of the chords, okay? Now, when I do this song, I like to strum with my thumb down, which is kind of a vaudeville approach for just getting an oomph to your strum instead of the typical thumb up. I'm resting my thumb down. That, that gives me a good punch, okay? So again, one last time, and then we'll uh, just play the song a little bit together, all right? Or as best we can with a little bit of a delay, all right? So um, here it comes again now, okay? Watch, all right? I go 90 years without slumbering, and now the uke's gonna go out now, because I'm facing the front of you, it's a little odd. Technically, if I was turned the other way and you were looking at my back, you know, that's more realistic of what's going to be happening there, right? So I go 90 years without slumbering, and that's going to go out, out, tick, come back in, tock. Life seconds numbering, tick, tock, tick, tock. Each time you'll do that two times. Tick, tock, tick. Top. Try that with me. Are you doing it with me? Try it with me, okay? 90 years without slumbering. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Now, I forgot to tell you this. If you ever do this with your ukulele club, okay, and it's a lot of fun, make sure that everybody goes like this and puts their arms out next to them and that they can actually hold their ukulele out, right? And without bopping somebody, because you got to have that much space. You got to be able to let your ukulele go all the way up at an arm's length. All right. And likewise, in your living room or wherever you're joining me from tonight, okay, Fort Myers, Florida, hello. I'm glad you could be with us. All right. Minneapolis, glad you could be with us. And all these different places where you're coming from, Fidalgo Island, glad you could be with us. Okay. Um, all these different places, make sure you got room to bring your arms out or you're going to hit your lamp or hit whatever's next to you. you got to be able to go like that, right? Make sure you don't have the strap. Grab the ukulele. I like to grab it up the neck and mute the strings. Now, some purveyors of this pendulum stroke like to hold it up here. And the reason why is because you get more of a pendulum if you hold it closer to the headstock. If you hold it up here, it's not quite as uh, fancy. It doesn't look as good. I like to do that because I have more control over it. It's still very cool. But if you hold it up here, 90 years without slumbering, and you go tick, tock, it's got more of a pendulum feel. So maybe one thing you might do before you really get into this is just to take your ukulele, your sopranos, your concerts, and just practice going like this with it, you know. Practice getting the pendulum right here up the neck and then right here and see what you like better, what, what works better for you, okay? All right? But I've seen, uh, when I've taught this in classes, I've seen people bop, you know, the person next to them, like literally like donk them, all right? So you don't want to do this unless you know what your spatial distance is and um, and I, you know, you'll appreciate that. Just trust me, okay? And uh, thank you for coming in from Talent, Oregon. Good, good to be uh, to have you with us. And uh, 
Uh, we got New Zealand joining us tonight. We, this, this, this program tonight was uh, widely publicized, and so we had a lot of people coming in from different places. Uh, Gwen, Michigan, so nice to have you all, all of you, uh, with me tonight. Okay, so, all right. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to get familiar with the song a little bit because a pendulum doesn't mean anything if you're not in command of the tune. Um, there's two pages to this, and um, uh, this is representative of the kinds of things you'll find. Um, yes, this is a ruthless, shameless promotion. You can order these off my website, but hey, this is how I make my living, and I could have been your kid, all right? So that's available as a PDF or as a, a physical book, and it's a lot of public domain material like this that um, – I put in my book, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to pull that out, and you guys hopefully have this printed. If you don't have it printed, I mentioned where it was available. Okay, so we got G as a chord in this song. All right, regular G. We've got D seventh, and you can do any old D seventh, barred or open. Okay, you've got a C chord in there, a G seventh, and an A chord in there as well. So that's what we're dealing with in terms of the chord structure. Nothing beyond anyone's reach, okay? Even for the beginners that are with us tonight, those are fairly easy chords, okay? All right, so let's start out and just try to strum a little bit of this. I know we're gonna be a little leg time with all of us, but just do the best you can to try to follow along. And let's go through the tune one time. And um, our main goal is just to familiarize ourselves with it. And then we'll come back and we'll do it. We'll add the pendulum. Okay? So here we go. I'm doing what's called a common stroke, and that's just any old down up. Okay? My grandfather's clock was too large for the shelf, so it stood 90 years on the floor. It was taller by half. Than the old man himself, but it weighed not more. It was born on the morn of the day that he was born. It was always his pleasure and pride. Here it comes now, but it stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. Ninety years without slumbering. This is where you do the tick tock. Tick tock, tick tock. His life seconds numbering. Pendulum. Tick tock, tick tock. It stopped. Never to go again when the old man died. In watching its pendulum swing to and fro. Many hours he had spent as a boy. In childhood and manhood, that clock it seemed to know, and to share all his grief and his joy. Well, it struck twenty-four when he entered at the door, with a blooming and beautiful bride. But it stopped short. Never to go again when the old man died. Ninety years without slumbering. This is where the pendulum would come in. Tick tock, tick tock. His life seconds numbering. Tick tock, tick tock. It stopped short. Never to go again when the old man died. Now I've got four verses on my in the score. Most people just sing about three of them. Okay. My grandfather said that of those he could hire, not a servant so faithful he found. For it wasted no time and in hand but one desire at the end of each week to be wound. And it kept in its place. Not a frown upon its face. Its hands never hung by its side. Here we go now. But it stopped short. Never to go again. When the old.
And uh, here we go now. 90 years without Samba rank. Tick tock, tick. Eight seconds, number eight. Tick tock. Short, never to go again. When the old man died. Now you got one more verse. And then we're going to review the pendulum one more time and talk a little bit more about that roll stroke, okay? It rang an alarm in the dead of the night, an alarm that for years had been dumb. Spirit was pluming his flight, that his hour of departure had come. Still the clock kept a time with a soft and muffled chime. We silently stood by his side. Well, what did it do? It stopped short, never to go again, when the old man, here it comes. You ready? 90 years without numbering. Life seconds numbering. Stopped short, never to go again, when the old man died. Okay, isn't that cool? Now, I also want you to imagine 20 or 30 other ukuleles doing this on a stage because it's something to behold. You know, it's really something cool when you get a whole ukulele club doing this and, and everybody's doing it and they're spaced out and staggered on a stage so that you don't bonk the person next to you. Um, and it's really a beautiful, cool thing. If someone in your uke club plays another instrument well, then integrate some of the melody in there on the violin or the, 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 the whistle or the harmonica or, or any other kind of melodic instrument. Or have someone in your group play the melody, right? You know, the melody is readily available on the internet. You can find it uh, just by listening to it as well. So um, that brings us back to just a, one more review of the pendulum. I'm going to give you one more good review now, all right? Before I do, I want to say welcome to uh, Omaha, Central Michigan, Clearwater, Florida, uh, New Haven, Indiana, Jacksonville Beach, um, Wapaka, Wisconsin, Seattle, Washington. We got folks coming from all over the country tonight. And once again, um, it's good to have you with us. All right. So uh, the pendulum. Let's do one last review now. Okay. So remember, you know, when I teach this class in person, what I will often do is I will, I'll stand up and I'll turn around so you would see my back, right? So you would see my back. And, and, and what you then would be seeing as you saw my back is you'd see, so I'd be facing the same direction as you, right? So then we'd strum and I'd go, 90 years without slumber, right? And I'd be facing the same direction as you and you'd see my uko tick, tock, tick, Talk, right? Okay, you'd see that you going out in the same direction. And uh, sometimes that's helpful to people to see it rather than opposite. And uh, so I just want you to keep that in mind. All right. All right, so let's do a review now one more time here. And then I think we're good. All right. Um, once you get to that part and you're in between those verses and you're coming to that chord, that uh, refrain, all right, you know where it goes, the old man died. You got to get ready because that pendulum's coming up real fast. And it's going to go 90 years without slumbering. My hand down, I let it slide down. 90 years without slumbering. See my hand goes down? I get ready to use the pads of my fingers and I go tick. And then when it comes back, I go tock. And then I go out again, tick, and then it comes back, tock. And there's light, seconds, number, ring. Same thing, tick with the pad. Back, I strike the nail. So what that is is it's the nail hitting the strings as it comes back towards me. You hear that? Okay. And the goal is to brush all the strings, all right? So that's what's happening. Pad goes out, nails comes back to you. So when the uke goes away from you, pads to the fingers. When it comes back to you, strike it 
with the nails. And I'm actually trying to really strike those strings, right? And boy, does this look cool. You know, people will think you're much better than you are. This is one of those tricks that will really get everyone ooing and eyeing. Okay, I love this kind of stuff. All right. In two more weeks, we'll be doing the, the class on flipping your ukulele and shaking the ukulele and other vaudeville tricks. And so that's coming up as well. Just fun little stuff to throw in. Okay. Um, so if you have any questions at this point, this is a good point to type them in. And my wife, beautiful wife, Jenna, is sitting over here. You can't see her, but she's over here. And uh, um, she'll write them down and uh, uh, try to convey them to me. Uh, as best we can if you have any questions at this point along the way. Okay? Hope everybody's having fun. And uh, you could have done almost anything tonight. I know you're homeward bound, but there's a lot going on. And uh, it's with gratitude that I say thank you for joining Mead Public Library and Little Rev in this class. All right? Here we go. Okay? You ready to try it now? Here comes the, the big kahuna. All right? What that means is now we're going to do the song, but at home, all of you are trying to do the pendulum now for real. Okay, and you got four verses to try this each time. Nobody's watching you except your spouse, okay, or whoever might be there with you, okay? But a lot of us don't have anyone looking over our shoulder, all right? So here we go. Everybody ready? Okay, here we go. I'm just doing a basic strum. Seventy-five people joining us tonight. That's a pretty nice group of people to do the pendulum stroke. Here we go. My grandfather's clock was too large for the shelf, so it stood ninety years on the floor. It was tall and half than the old man himself, but it weighed not a penny weight more. It was born on the morn of the day that he was born. He was always his pleasure and pride. I'm getting ready. Here it comes. But it stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. Here we go now. Ninety years without slumbering. Tick, tock, tick. Tock, his life seconds numbering. Tick, tock, tick, tock. It stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. Okay, that's verse one of four. In watching its pendulum swing to and fro, many hours he had spent as a boy. Through childhood and man, that clock it seemed to know and to share all his grief and his joy. Well, it struck twenty-four when he entered at the door with a blooming and beautiful bride. What did it do? It stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. That's it. Ninety years without slumbering. His life seconds numbering. Tick tock, tick tock. It stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. Two more verses now. You guys are doing real good. Okay? This is one for the next open mic that you go to. When we all come out of our homes and we get back to the life that we all want to be leading. Why? Because we human beings, we need one another. That's why. And, uh, and there's a lot of important music that needs to be played. Go sing this over at the senior center. Okay? Here we go. My grandfather said that of those he could hire, not a servant so faithful he found. 
For it wasted no time, and it had but one desire at the end of each week to be wound. And it kept in its place, not a frown upon its face. Its hands never hung by its side. But what did it do? It's never to go again. You ready? 90 years without slumber, and here it is, tick, tock, tick, tock, his life seconds numbering, tick, tock, tick, tock, it stopped short, never to go again, when the old man died. All right, you guys are doing great now. I like these little sopranos for this kind of stuff. I can cradle the soprano in my arm. I can hold it like a little baby. I got good control over it. So some of the vaudeville type stuff, all you eucoholic sopranos and concerts, the thing because the longer the scale, the you know the harder it is to manage and manipulate. Okay. But I like the little sopranos for this sort of thing. I know some of you are wondering about that. Last verse now. Rang an alarm in the day of the night, an alarm that for years had been dumb. And we knew that his spirit was blooming its flight, that his hour of departure had come. Still the clock kept a tie with a soft and muffled chime. We silently stood by his side. What did it do? And it stopped short, never to go again when the old man died. Ninety years without slumbering. Tick tock, tick tock. Life seconds no boring. Tick tock, tick. Stop. Never to go again when the old man died. All right. Good job, you guys. That was really good. Some other performance tips for this song now. Okay. What I found after about 25 years of playing this uh, cool little piece is. If you are doing this for an audience, whether it's just your family or neighbor, a friend, or an actual, uh, you know, group of people, it helps if you instruct the audience to use their tongue and actually sound out. You tell them ahead of time. You say, I'm going to do a song now, and here's your part. And then you go, okay, can you guys uh, echo me? Home. I'm going to make my tongue go tick tock, tick tock. Ready? I do it, you do it. Okay? If you can get your audience to do that, then if you happen to miss the pendulum, if you happen to miss it and you don't actually get that beat, you know, and a lot of times I'll have a nice microphone kind of in the vicinity so you can hear what I'm doing. But if I happen to miss it, because every once in a while we'll all miss it. Um, then your audience will be doing the TikToks because they'll already be doing it with their tongue. So you don't have to worry about um, going, going like that and not striking it or coming back and not striking it because your audience will be doing the TikToks with their tongues. So that's a nice little performance note. And speaking of tongues, I am going to take a drink of water, so hold tight. All right. Now, um, I'm going to give you a little bit of a review here on the roll strokes because a couple of you are asking for it, okay? So um, the class on roll strokes has been archived, on the and you can watch that class again or review it and, uh, um, and practice some of the roll strokes. It was a two-part class, the four-finger roll, the two-finger roll, the five finger roll, okay? And that's a percussive strum hand technique that the Portuguese brought to Hawaii when the ukulele came there in the late 1870s. There's even the backwards roll stroke, okay? 
And there's a whole school of these strokes, right? And, and so what I was saying earlier is that when it comes to the part that says it's stopped, short, that's the part where you want to either A, emphasize it with a good, strong, strum down. So you could go in, stopped, short, never to go again when the old man died. Or you could go, it stopped, short, and you could use that roll stroke, okay? It stopped, short, never to go again when the old man died, okay? That adds punch to the song. So when you get to just give it a really good strum, or if you know to do the roll strokes, then go, stopped, Short, never to go again when the old man died. Now, one of my students tonight asked if this is the only song that um, you can do the pendulum stroke on. And this song and this stroke are inter, you know, they're they're inextricably intertwined with each other. So as far as I know, there aren't any other songs that you would use this on but uh, it's classic, and uh, it's all you need to know. If you get this down and you do this song, people are just going to absolutely love it. They will adore it. It's just a classic, okay? Um, another cl a question was, how do you get um, from talk back to G? Okay, so for, for a lot of my beginners tonight, doing the pendulum strum, stroke and, and then getting back to the chords and strumming and then doing the pendulum going to be very it's going to be a precarious dance that you're going to do and when you first start doing it it's haphazard at best okay so you're going to fumble all right it takes practice to go um the old man died 90 years without slumbering go slow and then go tick tock tick tock his life, second numbering, tick, tock, go slow, tick, tock. And when you can move through this at a very slow tortoise-like pace, then you're ready to start integrating it where it actually flows, it's fluid, and it, and it, it, it keeps the consistency of the meter going. And you're not, um, you know, by the way, dynamics in a song are important and you um, have the right, especially if you're performing as a solo, you can speed up and slow down. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, to go um, stopped, short, never to go again when the old man died. 90 years without stumbling. So if you want to bring it down during that part, you can. It might make it easier. If you get going to not a song that was meant to be played like rocket you know it's not meant to be played super fast it's meant it's a sentimental song from the 18 basically the 1880s you know and um and just give it a nice sweet lilt you know a little down up down up down up does not have to be fast okay so my advice to a few of you would be to strum it slow and move through it at your own pace, okay, until you've done it enough times that you feel comfortable speeding it up, okay? If you go back to your respective ukulele clubs and you teach this to them, they'll just have a gas. I mean, they'll just have a blast learning this song when you show them what to do with this, okay? But another performance tip is what I said earlier. I said, stagger your your fellow uke player. So if I'm here, another uke player is going to be in front of me or behind me. You you have to be able to have room to go like this without bonking somebody. So uh, bear that in mind. Keep that you know keep that as you go forward. Okay. Um, I want to welcome uh, Ontario tonight uh, joining us, uh, Kenosha, Wisconsin, and uh, Vancouver as well. So we got uh, um, Canadian ukulele players joining us tonight. We welcome you. Thank you so much for taking part with us. Good to have you. All right. So 
What do you then have to summarize? Okay, you've got a song with five chords. Okay, all in first position. Um, you've got a nice down up stroke. All right, it's just our basic strumming that we use on all of our songs. Nothing fancy, nothing specific. Right. You have the pendulum stroke using your pads as it goes out, your nails as it comes back, tick tock, tick tock. Okay. Um, and you got a total of four verses. All right, you can add melody somewhere in there, all you melody players. Um, I told you I like to start it and end it with a melody, so I'll often do the claw hammer. Started and I'll end it except at the end I'll slow it down a lot more okay um, another part of your study tonight is to go on YouTube and look up various versions of this song get it in your head and hear how other people did it okay um, as far as I know I'm, I'm not blowing my own horn or anything like that as far as I know I'm the only ukulele player or not the only but I think I'm the first ukulele player to start doing this song and, and, and integrating it in there. It just struck me that with uh, what we did in the vaudeville era with Roy Smack doing all the theatrics, and Roy was constantly throwing his ukulele out like this um, and integrating it into songs. He might not have been doing tick tock, tick tock, but going like that and using that kind of a thing. Excuse me. <coughs> All right, so those kind of theatrics really come to life, all right? And um, we got tons of that. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be doing a class on songs that utilize the ukulele flip, and that will be coming up in two weeks. I tell you that because theatrics, which grew out of the vaudeville era, um, are great, to, you know, just to add into what you're doing, to spice it up a tiny bit. All right, they're simple things. And um, join me for that class. Um, if there are any other questions, this is be a good time to ask me those questions. I'm gonna give you my little pitch that I give for every class. And uh, as you can see behind me is my PayPal and Venmo. And I dreamt last night that, uh, that after tonight I could retire. I got so many tips I could retire. I dreamt that last night, but it was just a dream. And uh, but if you learn something and you're enjoying these classes, I do appreciate your tips. It's how I'm making a living right now, and, uh, and I'm very grateful for them, as I often say. And, uh, um, if uh, making a tip online is not um, to your liking or doesn't work for you, pop me a ma uh, message through Facebook or my website, LilRev.com. And uh, I'll send you my P.O. box address uh, for uh, old school check type of thing as well. Okay. Uh, Mead pays me a small a stipend for these classes, and your tips help to round, round out what I would normally make if I was out on the road, uh, which typically is 20 bucks a head for a 90 minute class. Okay. That's all I'll say. Um, and thank you so much for. All right. Now, before we wrap things up tonight, uh, we're, we're just about just about coming to a, an end here. Um, I want to uh, talk about a couple of other things. First of all, next week we will be doing uh, the boogie woogie and the rock and blues drum. So I want to give you all of you a preliminary. And um, what I aim to teach is uh, the boogie woogie in two different keys. So the boogie woogie in C. Kind of a thing. Now, if you're not a melody player, cool rockabilly and blues type songs, okay? And I'm also going to talk about the importance of 
uh, adding boogie notes or what I call the rock and blues strum. If you read my article about lead belly, I, I, I've um, done a lot of writing on the rock and blues strum. Okay, so this is how to turn a basic down up strum into a rock and roll strum or a blues strum. And so it would go from something like this, like this is U Club style, right? Come on over, baby. Oh, a lot of shaking going on. And, and that sounds okay. But when you add the boogie notes, come on over, baby. Oh, a lot of shaking going on. Okay. When you add that kind of stuff to it, it really brings your rock and your blues to life. So I'm going to be talking about how to do that in a couple different keys and how to play boogie woogie and we'll have a couple of fun songs. And, uh, and that'll be next week. And then after that, uh, we'll be doing some ukulele flips with a variety of different songs uh, and talking about the concept of stop time. We could do some preliminary uh, advanced research and go online and look up stop time and find out what it is. Okay, I'll be talking about that. And um, so to finish tonight, um, I'm going to play you a piece called My Four Reasons. And uh, I'll show you a little bit of the, of the ukulele flip in there, okay? So here we go. It's Angelie, you know, that's one of my four reasons. Rose around our low on knee, purchase those and purchase these. That's two of my four reasons. When she was at garlic, eat some bird cheese. I hit a weakness way down around my knee. When I told you this and I told you that, my mind's at ease. That's all for my four reasons. Okay, so I don't know, it happened fast, right? But right in the middle, I did that flip. And there are a whole bunch of places where in blues, Tin Pan Alley, Novelty, Jug Band, we're going to do that sort of thing. Um, if I, not not uh, Monday, but next Thursday, okay? So if you're interested in uh, learning the, a little bit about the shake and the ukulele flip and some of this kind of stuff, um, you'll be joining me next Thursday for that. We got classes going to the end of May, and I thank uh, Mead Library so much. Just a great, great library. Leave your thank yous for them as well. Um, we're grateful to them for sponsoring these. And uh, uh, pop me a letter, and uh, if there are any other questions with regard, you can find me at lilrev at lilrev.com, all right, or on Messenger. Uh, friend me at Facebook, lilrev is my fan page. Mark Robinson is my other page. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys again. Practice your pendulum stroke, okay? The three Ps. Practice, practice. I hope you had a good night, and we'll see you again. Stay safe, stay healthy, and remember, I love you like a ukulele. Now, if you haven't gotten enough of this, this kind of thing tonight, you tune back in this Saturday to Mark Revinson Facebook or Lil Rev, where I'll be giving a concert on Saturday night. A lot of ukulele, a lot. The theme is orig my original song. So I'll be playing songs from all my records. And uh, my daughter will be a special guest. And that's this Saturday night at Mark Revinson or Lil Rev on Facebook Live. Okay? Take care, be well, and once again, I love you like a ukulele. Thank you.